Hello and welcome to Rauda. This time, this is not exactly an opinion video, but more of a kind of a let me just explain myself to you and how the channel operates. And um, I'm gonna explain some of the things for the sake of transparency, uh, because you've been asking and I wanna explain, and this is way too a uh, big thing for ask me anything sorts. And this is also, uh, I hope, a suitable updated video 2.20 version, if you will, about the topic called so how do you select the CDs and vinyls and tapes you review for the channel what is required of that and how can I get my band or my labels releases for you sir blah 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 Rauta Jerry or whatever and I'll try to uh, recap the whole idea while having some really uh, stout strong uh, oatmeal imperial stout so let's get the questions or pondering or musings going and um, I'll try to explain to the best of my abilities what's really going on here. Now that I've been on vacation for about a week and I really hadn't, haven't done more than maybe one review during this week, um, I still have been listening to the music, of course, but I mean, I have, haven't had time to sit here at the office and listen to the albums while working and blah, blah, blah. But I mean, uh, yeah, the thing is, I have a massive queue of reviewable CDs and I have this kind of a system which I try to make as fair as possible to all the, uh, well, people included, that is labels, bands, myself, audience, etc. So what is what does it that mean exactly? Well, first of all, I have this kind of a four tier system. That means the first one is the ones that are taking the priority slot. So in case I am being sent a CD or whatever other format it is, don't get stuck in that for review. In case that it just happens to arrive here before the actual release date, it will go to my priority top list and I will get to uh, listen to those ones as soon as possible. That is, they are like uh, overdrive, overriding any other previous, uh, previously sent uh, review ones, because these are the most relevant ones, which I want to get out as soon as possible, that is, before the actual release date. So the review is most useful, I think, to every party in question. Because after all, I mean, if there's like one week or even a couple of days before this new album comes out, I try to make the review so that you actually get to hear an opinion which might or might not affect whether you are pre-ordering that album or not, or at least you're very much aware, like, hey, okay, I didn't know about this album, so now I will just get the, check out the samples and whatnot, so maybe I could get pre-ordered, maybe some bonus content, or maybe I will just get it as fast as possible, or maybe before this actual print run is, you know, gonna be sold out or whatever. So that's the point here. Now, the secondary theory is that it really new ones, that is, the la releases that were released in last three months. So, for example, now that we are living in July 2020, the albums that would be featured would be July releases, June ones, and the ones from May. But if there's an album that comes from, like, was released six months ago, or maybe a year ago, it would go to this tier three list, which is basically like, hey, you're not in a rush anymore. You had like six months of time, that it, or basically more than three months of time to send me this copy. And now you're like, hey, maybe we should head, send this copy to this bald head as well. So you don't get to really choose, you know, the, as the saying goes, beggars cannot be choosers. You don't really get to say like, hey, I want to get this new album, new album, reviewed as soon as possible. Like, okay, you had so many months time to send it. Now you will go to the list and you will have to wait, which usually means months. And I will explain soon why. Then there's this fourth list, which is more than a year's old albums. Why do I even have such a list is the thing that so many labels and even some bands want to send me their back catalog, like four years old albums. Some could say, why Jerry, why do you even bother going with the old stuff. Why don't you just ignore them? Well, that's where enters my loyalty to these 
people, these musicians, labels, band members, um, random people sending me albums for review. I mean, if they spent their time to make that album, the time to pack it, you know, pack this CD or vinyl or whatever and send it to me, spend money on that. The least thing I can actually do is to listen to that album multiple times and then review it. You know, make a video and also the written one in Finnish. So it's kind of like my way of saying thank you in case it's a rather good positive review. In case it's not, it's more like saying like, sorry, but I I have no other ways to, but to be honest. My point here is, doesn't matter if it's old or new, I will try to review it eventually. Older ones just have to wait, they are not that relevant anymore, but they are still going. So before I went to this vacation, I had like 157 LPs and CDs or tapes waiting for me, you know, waiting for their turn. Most of them being older than, say, that three months. But obviously during my um, vacation already, I got some like nine, I think more, and I know more is coming in, you know, like dozens. I hope to get back to work before I'm just once again overloaded. Now, some people were guessing that I should have less albums in my queue than previously because I've been very, very active and pushing even more time into making these reviews. That is, listening to even more review ones than before. So that's why you saw some like two reviews a day this spring. But now that I had to kind of uh, prepare for my vacation, I really couldn't do push out two reviews a day or otherwise you would have empty days between. So now everything is covered during my vacation as well, but it also means no two reviews per day kind of a things or no indie fives at the moment. We'll see if things gonna change later on. But the uh, coronavirus actually affected this one. So I hit my top peak queue around, I think it was January, February, which had like something like 200 CDs or other formats as well. And I was like, never ever before I could even dream or have this nightmare about having such a big pile of reviewable stuff. But because coronavirus affected, you know, post postal services were kind of slowing down. I managed to climb down to 160 or even less than that. So it seems hard work has kind of a helped that. But I know my mailbox is about to explode later on this year because I know some labels are going to send me like a big box of uh, stuff at once, which means once again, my lists will, you know, just get updated and all that stuff. But make no mistake, even if you sent me an album a year, year ago or two years ago and you still haven't gotten your review, it's still in the works. It will be out eventually. Like earlier this spring, I actually got some older ones from 2018 out of the system, so to say, because there were no newer ones which I would have to focus on. So it's all there. And now to the actual question, in case I didn't explain this thoroughly enough, is that how do I get these CDs and vinyls and tapes? Do I review the stuff I buy? Well, no. That's kind of a, a policy of things, you know, as a review guy. I mean, if I would be buying CDs in order to review them, I would be actually enabling bad behavior. That is, why would anybody even want to send me stuff for uh, review if I was going to buy them anyway and then review? I mean, of course, nobody can expect or you know, uh, prepared to like, hey, he's gonna buy this anyway, so don't bother. I mean, you really can't count on it. But it's also one of these things like, if I'm gonna buy something, it has to be really, really something special that I wanna go telling people about. But then again, I really don't buy these that much uh, stuff these days or past few years, because I'm always kind of stuck with these review ones. So it's kind of a, double-edged sword. It kind of a prevents me from buying. Doesn't really prevent, but I mean, makes no sense for me to buy stuff. But I do have a kind of a purchase list. Purchase these items eventually. Maybe it's secondhand. Maybe I will trade it. Maybe I will buy it. I don't know. I'm I'm in no hurry. I mean, I have way too many CDs waiting to be listed. You know, in my own collection. The stuff right here and 
other parts in the room, but also the ones that I want to get reviewed. So it's kind of a, I'm stuck with this, but because I fucking enjoy it, I, I don't want to complain. So this is how you do it. If you want to get your stuff to be reviewed here on this channel, you will contact me either through Facebook, Instagram, or preferably email. You will find all that necessary information on the about side on the when you click around the channel and there's this about more information or whatever and you just click it and there's an email and then like hello i'm Chos from a band called abnormal dead procedure whatever blah 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 or hi i'm necroface from a band called necroface from a planet called necroface can you just review my demo and i'm like yeah send it this way but don't bother contact me with your digital files. First of all, they make a poor video. B, I'm old school, so I want to have them on physical format. Consider it like my pay. I get something in return for listening your demo and uh, making the review. If that deal doesn't suit you, if you think I'm a poser or sellout or whatever, because you don't want to send me that stuff, or maybe you just have it on digital format, well, so be it. It's only fair deal that everybody gets something out of this deal. If you think otherwise, well, suit you. Anyway, too lengthy video. I should be already streaming and talking metal and drinking beer. So uh, I hope this video will get you updated how reviews for Rauda actually work. And if I still didn't answer you with this video, ask me again, put that on the comment box below. Shoot me with your questions or comments or whatever, and I'll get back to you. Um, that's it, I guess. Enjoy summer beer and uh, some good albums. There are plenty, more than plenty out this year as well. And I'll make sure that the good ones, well, possibly get also reviews here on the channel. Thank you for sticking with me. Cheers and bye-bye.